it's that cool, misty morning. You wake up, you take that first breath, it goes down into your lungs, you make your arms tingle. The hair on your arms will stand up, goosebumps will form. That's what I like. That's why I get up in the morning. That's why I get up in the early morning. It's just to feel that feeling. You just wake up and you walk down to the creek and you see the mist, or even on the road here. But too much, you can't see nothing, but just enough. Sunlight comes down through the trees. It just creates that surreal, surreal moment. The conditions aren't ideal. I don't really know what to expect. Time I get up there, time you walk back there, you, you don't know what you have. Um, and I'm not gonna spend all day up there just waiting for the sun to come out or not to come out. There's gonna be no clouds. And that's okay because I'm not really looking to shoot in, uh, in the clouds up there. All I want is the natural green. It's like that fresh spring green and the falls coming down. And these falls are not big at all. So sometimes when you capture falls and they're not that big, they, they act, the, the blur effect, you know, everyone sees it's all blurry, like a two seconds. They, they're, they're really not even there. They don't even look like they're there. Ah, you can see the sun just blasting down through the sky, cutting through this fog and mist. You, you want to get up early and go to catch the morning, you know, just the dew on the leaves that's going to make it that, that, that color that's just going to pop, you know, make it worthwhile to get up in the morning. But then when the sun is just overbearing and there's too much mist, it's like, ah, why even try? It's going to be a walk up through here, so the ranger gate doesn't open till 8. The ranger gate doesn't open. I guess that kind of rhymes, but uh, I wanted to catch the morning dew. It's just something about in the mornings. And even driving up here, like I don't, I'm not too, I don't really think I'm gonna be successful on this trip, but just uh, driving up here. And you see guys that are, this is Friday morning, so you see guys out here meeting to go to work, you know, the carpool, guys that have loads of mulch gravel, they're going to their job site, and you see all this happening, and every once in a while you see a guy with a boat going to the lake, and you wonder, man, but I see all this happening, and uh, I just can't, it's just pretty cool how, uh, how lucky I am to be able to just come out this morning to do like a photography, just take a picture of a waterfall. <laughs> it's actually, uh, so even though I know the, uh, this waterfall, everything is not ideal. The only thing that ideal in this situation is going to be the, uh, the spring, the, the new life that's going to be on the trees and the surroundings. I mean, the, oh my God, the mist is crazy. It's like I could, it's like one of those things where you got to put your headlights on just to see other vehicles. And they see you. The sun is just not even cutting through it, which could be good because too much sun we may have too much contrast, and that's not what I want. But soon the uh, the sun's going to burn all this mist off, and uh, we'll have a nice hot day today. Well, it's already 9 o'clock, and I'm just sweating like crazy. I don't got nothing to say. And you can see this is the image that, uh, that I had in mind. Obviously the waterfall here, but as you can see the moss hanging down out through here It's actually grass Which just gives us great texture right here. Actually, I May even take a photo of just that But just the, the green how this uh, the new spring Everything's just alive That's what I wanted to capture I was hoping that the Sun didn't interfere you can see it up there just blowing everything out and that may be interesting because once the sun comes around and starts hitting this right here this is gonna change it's gonna be like a sparkle effect and this is not an area 
I just stumbled upon. I've been probably hiked up to this area maybe you know, four or five times and uh, I just never brought my camera. Usually it's daytime and half the time the, uh, the, the, the uh, gate down there is, doesn't open till ten, uh, eight. I don't know even what time it is, but uh, but I always thought what would be a good time of year to uh, take a picture of this, and I always thought the spring everything's just like that new green. It's uh, you know, just been born, I guess. I don't know what it, what you what you really call it, but uh, so yeah. I mean, I could have been perfect. I wish I would have camped out, but um, hey, that's what it's that's them them the breaks, right? But uh, still, you can't beat this. And, uh, and whenever I come up here, I was always looking for a place I could photograph this. And I knew in the springtime it would be good. And uh, I found this ledge up here. <sighs> it's definitely hot, though. It's cool right now, but coming up here, man, I tell you, 9 a.m. and I'm sweating like crazy. But, but there's a spot right down here. There's this patch of green. I don't think I can get to it without killing myself. I'm coming down through here and this scares the hell out of me. See the old nice pattern on them? So it's kind of interesting and this is where I have to be very careful because this man I, oh my god I got that twig right in my uh, polarizer and I'm keep I'm pretty worried about that not worried I gotta keep an eye on that dang snake down there and I gotta focus in an F12 right now. And again, I gotta take it off live view. And even though there's no clouds there, if you turn the polarizer, it's gonna give the rock formation. The rock's a different color. Now I gotta go up there and uh, get my bag. F9 ISO 100, 0.8 shutter, 